In seventh grade, you know, you run track, you get introduced to sports. I had this amazing coach. We would, if you start to fall back, we'd circle back and pick you up. And, you know, I kind of modeled a lot of things that he did. In high school, I, I was always good at English, and I, always, I liked reading, I liked writing, but my teacher was so negative. <laughs> I could be the happy, encouraging, fun teacher that I never had. When I was a freshman in high school, I was in a really bad accident. I had a really good support system and those problem-solving skills, but students that lack that, that could be a devastating thing. My dad raised me from the age of nine. In order to understand where you are now, you have to understand the history and the past. Accept it, you know, and make it better. You can't make a difference if you can't take care of yourself. My band director was kind of like a father figure to me. He, he definitely saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself. So I went into my senior year and our very first home game. Well, that night, my band director passed away. So I, I remember my principal coming to me. I was the band director. My first students were my peers. It was in Kajawa Elementary. So I was in second grade and I was raised by a single mother. And my teacher noticed that I wasn't developing correctly. I would go up to my mom's job like at McDonald's and just wait there hours on end doing nothing. And so she was like, you know what, that's an opportunity for me to teach you. When I was in college, a lot of us we thought we were going to change the world. They're five, four and five. Those other coaches are going to look to me to get them ready. So my job is to prepare them for everything. The kids don't realize how late at night we stay up. I tell them that I love them and I'm proud of them all the time. And I cried yesterday because a kid told me, she's like, I don't hear that enough. There are times where all of those other logistics make you forget that passion. Sometimes we get really busy. You lose sight of the goal. I asked my kids, how many of your parents are at work when you get home? And maybe 80% raised their hand. It wasn't until my first year and it was a lot of hoops you have to jump. And when you think you got it, another thing gets thrown in. My very first year, I halfway taught into a pandemic. You have to sacrifice so much outside just to maintain your profession inside. Why continue to do this? Someone cared about me when I was younger. I want them to have the same experiences that I did because I needed that in my life. I'm just passionate about it and they buy into it. I just try to give them everyday core values for them to value themselves first off. I'm just doing what I love to do and that's teach. It's about, it's a bigger picture. It's purpose. And being a teacher, it's purpose is showing up every day. It's purpose in your presence. Teaching is the thing where I feel that fulfillment of being able to empower others the way that I felt empowered as a child. It's about application and seeing how far we can extend that knowledge and seeing where else it can go. You can kind of live your dreams through your kids, you know? One, two, ready, up. It's a collaboration. You've got to help everyone finish. When we were virtual, I would look it out there and the parents would be working out with us. When I do my turkey trot or my jingle bell run, I have everybody clap. Guess what my students do? The ones that are slow, the friend runs out and holds their hand and they cross the finish line together. I guess we've talked about what it means to be a good person, to be there for your family and to the people around you. And they turn into such good leaders. Just try and stop them, just try. You can't, they're, gonna, they're just gonna run with it and it's gonna be amazing. How do you support the best outcome for the most people? That's really what I hope students are getting out of this long term. How can we share that knowledge, share those experiences? What can you bring into your purpose that's gonna help somebody else? They can take it out into the world and make it full circle. Since the first year, we've been getting sweepstakes, and, and, and not, it's not even just about that. They just wanted somebody to believe in them, to push them, and they, they rise to the occasion. They do a great job. Now, it's, you know, this is the legacy. So people expect this from the Davis High Choir. The way I tie my math lessons into the values that I uphold, whatever you do in your life, you're going to need these skills. How are you going to use these math skills to help somebody out? So I'm always transparent with them. And with that, they always try to make my day. So they always show that they care about me too. You're meant to be here. Yes, we have our moments, we have our days, but why not be a light at the end 